Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to explain the carboxyl group. All right, so this is a functional group and it looks like this. You've got carbon with an oxygen, double bond to oxygen and a hydroxyl. So this may look familiar. This looks like a carbonyl group and a hydroxyl group, but what you should realize is if one carbon has both a carbonyl group and a hydroxyl group attached, it's neither of those things. It's actually what's known as a carboxyl group. And again, your carboxyl group would be attached to the rest of your molecule and it gives some property to the molecule. Again, functional groups are little attachments to your carbon backbone that give some kind of property to that molecule, overall property. Okay, so what is the property of a carboxyl group? A carboxyl group is actually considered a acidic functional group. You know what that means? That means if you are a molecule and you happen to have a carboxyl group attached to you as a functional group, that means you are technically an acid. You are an acid. Okay, why are you an acid? Uh, well, remember what acids do. Real quick, a quick brief review. If you haven't watched my video on pH, please do watch that because it's going to help a lot with this understanding. Maybe watch that first. Uh, I'll wait you know, and then come back and watch this. So what do acids do? Acids increase the number of protons in your drink, okay, or in your solution. So if I have uh, my tea here, I have nice hot tea. Um, if I were to add an acid to this tea, it would increase the number of protons in my tea, right? That's what acids do. They make my solution more acidic. What does acidic mean? It means more protons, right? If you have higher concentration of protons, it's a more acidic drink. Acids increase the number of protons in the solution around them. So how does that work? Well, here's how. The functional group looks like this, but that's the non-ionized form. When you place this functional group in water, it will become an ionized form. You know what it's going to do? This hydrogen here, this hydrogen here, okay, it's going to leave, okay? Imagine if hydrogen left, right? You see that? But the whole hydrogen doesn't leave. That's the tricky part. That's the part you need to understand. If hydrogen left, then you would have C with two O's here and an H leaves, right? But not the whole hydrogen leaves. Remember, hydrogen is a hydrogen is a proton with an electron. Remember that. Hydrogen is a proton with an electron. That dot is its electron. The carboxyl group is not losing a hydrogen. It is losing just the proton. Does that make sense? So it's H+. Plus. The proton is leaving, not the whole hydrogen, just the proton. It leaves the electron behind, okay? So you know what? That means when you put this carboxyl group into solution, a proton will pop off, leaving behind an electron, so that's called O minus. And this is what happens. That's the ionized form of the functional group. That's what happens. So imagine if I have a molecule and it has a carboxyl group, and I put it in my drink. What did it do to my drink? It actually popped a proton into my drink. And you know what that means? If I have more protons in my drink, that means it's a more acidic drink. That's the definition of acidic. It's more proton concentration. I just added a carboxyl group in here. It released a proton. Now the proton's floating around my drink. My drink is, by definition, more acidic, you see? So that's how it works. Carboxyl groups are acidic functional groups. If a molecule has a carboxyl group, it's an acid. You see, let me show you an example real quick. This molecule, if you remember, this molecule is ethane. This molecule is ethane, a nonpolar gas, right? But if I manipulate it this way and give it this functional group, carboxyl group, now it's acidic acid. Now it's an acid, and it mixes with water. It's an acid. If you put it in water, guess what? It pops off this little proton, leaving behind a negative charge on the oxygen because it left a, a, an electron with the oxygen. And that proton's now floating around in solution, making my solution 
more acidic. Okay? And uh, just to wrap up, carboxyl groups are acidic functional groups. What you should realize is there is a non-ionized form which looks like this. And then there's the ionized form which looks like this. All right, so what you should realize is this means carboxyl group, that means carboxyl group. There's also other ways of writing carboxyl group. This is the same as saying COOH, and this is the same as saying COO minus. So there's like four different ways of writing carboxyl group. So it's a little bit confusing, but hopefully it all makes sense. You add the carboxyl group to a solution, you lose a proton. More protons means more acidic, which means lower pH. Remember that, like pH 0, 1, 2, that means, you know, uh, more acidic, right? So you make the solution more acidic. Hopefully this helps. Again, if you're confused about the whole pH thing, watch my video on pH. That will help clear things up a little bit for you. As always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment or question be below. I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, take care of yourself as always. Thanks again. Bye.